More Wabash Valley County step up to make the sale of synthetic marijuana products illegal. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. The products go by the name of Spice, K2, and K3. They all contain a form of man-made marijuana. Vico County officials are already considering banning the sale, and Martin County is drawing up an ordinance. Davies County will vote Monday to prohibit the sale. And as News 10's Mike Grant reports, Knox County has now passed an ordinance to stop the sale of spice. It may be packaged as incense or something else, but products known as spice and K2 are now the target for local ordinances. In Knox County, an ordinance is now in place making it illegal to sell it. It's just a safety issue for our young people and you know it's we just don't want it sold in Knox County and, and we're gonna see to it that way. Officials at the community corrections office say they've seen the problem of the abuse of spice firsthand. We're finding people that are using it because it is legal and it, it it's the potency is a concern. The action here in Knox County is an ordinance, which means that people caught selling synthetic marijuana won't be going to jail, but they can wind up in court, and they can face a fine of $250, which is the maximum the county can levy. That's the key. The merchants need to quit selling it. Officials in southern Indiana say they're hoping that state officials will put in tougher laws in the future, but for now, they'll have to rely on their local ordinances. The legislature is supposed to be taking care of this next year, and uh, we just felt like we wanted to jump the gun and get it stopped here in our county. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. News 10 tried to talk with merchants in the Vincennes area that now sell the synthetic marijuana, but they declined our request. Several Indiana lawmakers hope to draft a bill banning the sale statewide. Illinois does have a ban that goes into effect in January. 